Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. Uh, one thing I wanted to uh, to point out just before we get started is I've not been uh, using the resources that we've been building up here, but one thing that you can do is if you do happen to suffer uh, an unfortunate incident, um, you can actually go to the Phoenix bases and use the food to hire soldiers. And if we pop on in, uh, there's no specific choosing for them at the moment, but for 100 feet, you do get a brand spanking new soldier. And in fact, let's, uh, seeing as we've got spare food, let's get another couple, just in case uh, any of these bases get attacked. So we've got an engineer over here. We've got two regular soldiers over here, and they do come with, uh, with equipment, uh, which is good, um, but it does mean that, uh, Oh geez, I mean we could we could re-gear all of these. Um if this base assault goes horribly, horribly, horribly wrong, um then we may need those soldiers. Uh so we've got three, four, five, six air quotes spare soldiers dotted around. Uh but that's not really what this episode is about. This episode is gonna be our first base assault. Uh we were just about to attack this alien nest. Now uh if I just leave this very quickly. Uh, the alien nests have an operating radius, uh, which is very interesting to see. Uh, this one's 900 kilometers, this one's 800. I'm assuming that the longer they're around, the the more that increases. We're going to take this one out uh, today, hopefully, and uh, fingers crossed that will reduce the, uh, the influence of the mist and other things going on. So, we must locate and eliminate the spawner to destroy the nest. There's crabmen inside. Beware of the alien's defense systems. Sentinels will trigger if a soldier is in its sensor range, or if it attacks them, eggs will hatch if a soldier gets close. I really hope we've got enough ammo for this. We should have enough ammo for this, but we may need to re-gear afterwards. And this will be the first time that we've been in that situation, so this is all very new territory for us. Uh, the last episode uh, I cut short after just one mission because I don't know how long this is going to take. Um, so, uh, well, I guess you guys can just actually have a look at the uh, the timer, can't you? And see. So, we have this Sentinel. We have whatever the hell this thing is. Jeez, what is that? I have no idea. But it's got a torso and it's got a head. It does hatching. Okay. Well, this thing definitely has to go. Right. Big gun. Big gun. Step on in. And we're going to go straight for the head, I think. Okay, we're going to use exertion to get another burst on this thing. I do not want it making it through a turn. It's preparing something. I'm assuming that's going to be hatching. Oh my god, that is the that was the worst accuracy ever. Its head's been broken, um, so it's not going to be able to do any of its abilities. Uh, but that's not enough. I want more. So finish this thing off. Go straight for the head. Good job. One down. Now where are the others? That's over there. And that one's across the way. That's going to be awkward to get to. Uh, we could do a jump across. And if we're going to take it out, we should take it out in a single move. So actually, yeah, let's do this. We'll deadly duo it. Now, looking at the amount of um, armor it has, this is probably going to be the most efficient way of trying to take it out. So six damage. Torso is broken. We need to do more to it, but uh, for the moment, that will do quite nicely. In fact, let's step in here. 
Who's next? We can get a single shot with you. So come this way. Let's have, actually have a look. What's your angle on this guy? That's not too bad, actually. What's he got? He's got a shield and not much armor, but we can finish him off with a soldier. So let's turn our attention across this way. Center mass, try and keep all that damage located straight on him. Okay, going well. We're probably not going to hit that shot, but this over here is not, it's not a bad option for us. So let's step on in and we'll do a bit of plink plinking on this guy. There we go. That's the level of accuracy that I want. Uh, yeah, just, just go straight for the center mass. And you can actually back up one. You are done as much as you can be. Let's move you forwards. Uh, we can actually get you forwards as well. Looks like we've got an egg down there. What are we going to do with you? We could step you in and shotgun this guy. So, exertion, point blank. Yeah, just go, go for the chest. Lots of bleeding. I mean, he didn't really have much chance there. As for you, what could we do with you? Or can we do something? No, we can actually do... We can do this better over this way. Let's step in here. We can shoot across for the last little bit of damage. And it is just a little bit of damage. That's probably accurate enough. Although looking at it, if we do that... Ah, oh, not quite. Alright, does anyone have Gunslinger? You do, but you don't have any willpower left because we just used all of it. You do. This might work. That is not going to be a great shot, but we'll give it a go. Perfect. We're saving, saving ammo and action points as much as possible. Uh, I don't want to trigger this thing until we're certain we're going to be able to kill it. This guy is a bit of a threat, but he's got a long way to walk. So I th think probably the best thing we can do over here is get closer. And that's it for the first turn. Not a bad first turn. Two big nasty things and a little mook taken out. Right, so choices do we go down this way and deal with those or do we come around here i think coming around here is going to be the right move so keeping it in line with the shotgun plan actually this is a probably a good idea we've got enough willpower to step on in okay there's an egg there we don't care that much about it what we do care about, though, is getting a shotgun in on this thing. This is going to do quite a bit of damage. Maybe if we go straight for the head, if we can remove its ability to spawn mist. Yup, the head is broken. 20 damage. That is such a lot. All right, uh, we can definitely finish it off with Gunslinger. If we have Gunslinger available, you do. So, switching to the pistol. Let's step on in. Now, we don't have to use Gunslinger for this, but I'd like to use it just so we can get it finished off and then we can move in with the remaining movement. Come on, step forwards. Stop posing with your pistol. I'm 
What's the shot like on this guy? It's not going to be good. Oh my word, that is... That is kind of terrible. That's not worth the ammo. And ammo is going to be an issue for us. Uh, let's push on this way. Now it does say defeat all enemies. So even though we're going around this way, we're going to have to come back this side to take out that uh, last egg. But I am serious when I say we're going to keep everyone together and try and keep them alive. No accidental deaths, no accidental massive injuries. It's going to be a, a case of uh, one on one on one on one on one on one on one cover formation. Yeah, that's totally a thing. Uh, get on in here. Now, I have to say, I do absolutely love the layout and uh, graphics in here. This thing, really cool. Creep the entire place, super creepy. Is there an upper level? It doesn't... There is sort of. So we could potentially jump someone up. There's bridges. There's... There's a lot of interesting stuff. That goes all the way around. And there's a point for enemy spawns as well. Now it said about um, alarms. Pretty certain we haven't triggered anything yet. Hello you. Uh, we can get round to him, uh, but we can't kill him if we do that. And this is not a great angle to try and attack him. But we can try and take out that arm. No, that was that was bad. That was just a bad idea in general. Okay, we can use Gunslinger to take out this thing. Uh, we've probably got enough ammo for that. We don't have enough willpower for it though. But if we do, who's gonna be nearby? This guy is actually quite a threat to us. So let's eliminate the threat. How the hell did that do damage all the way over there? That must have exploded early. Oh, so, uh, that could have, that might have been a mistake. So we can't move, which is bad. And everything's waking up, which is bad. And I believe the technical term is a oh, bugger. Right, grenades. Oh, we can we can go through our person now that they fired. No, we can't. It's It just didn't recognise they were there for a moment. That's okay. This is just going to reach him. There's going to be a lot of hatching aliens very, very soon. This may have been a terrible plan. Right. Can we at least start eliminating some of these? If I do this... We try shooting the nearby one and the further away one. Okay, that actually worked. Man, I could have done this so much better. Alright. You've got no willpower, so... You're almost useless. Let's step in. What's the accuracy like? That's probably good enough, actually. Okay. One problem gone.
exertion. One step closer. We just don't have the view around there. Okay, go on Overwatch. There's, there's just no jumping going on. Right, so that's not going to work either. Uh, let's let's just push in as close as we can, and we'll try and at least bring people in that can do useful stuff. Maybe if I get to here, we can go on Overwatch with a pistol as well. Yeah. Yeah, just, just do it with Overwatch. You can't even Overwatch. Uh, let's bring you all the way in. I really hope he doesn't have a grenade. Now that I've just bunched everyone up together, I really hope he doesn't have a grenade. Right. Uh, it's just a mind fragger. I mean, I kind of expected it would be. I mean, basically face huggers. That's unfortunate. Lucky owl. Hopefully that guy's blocking anyone else from coming in and and doing damage to him. But I don't think so. No. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need to get some some medic work in here. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. It's just going to require very specific and surgical planning. So we're going to step to here. Let's get this thing out. Really, really want to get a grenade on these two without killing this guy. Ah, he can come back this way. Okay, so it's... There is a plan. We retreat to here. We bring the engineer forwards. The engineer can heal him. Yeah. So, back up. You can come into here. And you know what? That's... Uh, that's a bit... That's a bit terrible. Can we do it with this? Okay. Probably not a brilliant, brilliant plan, but certainly not the worst idea I've ever had. Yeah, he is not in a good good state. Okay, you need to come forwards and take care of this thing over here. So step in. That's okay, we don't care about the others for the moment. Focus on the things that we know we can kill. That gives you enough willpower to do an exertion focus on the next one. That gives you enough willpower to do an exertion. And focus on the next one. Okay, that was the last ammo. That's, that's acceptable. Good job. Changing to this, we can make it in and we can do some healing. Hopefully solve that bleeding issue as well. You'll be fine! It's just a flesh wound. We'll just like glue you back together. Torso enabled. It's like it never happened. 
In fact, over here. No, you you did your grenade launcher. It's um it's interesting that the grenade launcher locks things off like that. I mean, I would expect something like that, uh, but it's it's very interesting to see it actually being implemented. Uh, right, we need to to get a pistol shot on this. So come into here. That's probably going to be close enough. That guy is too far away. That's okay. Go for the shotgun and, you know what, pull back a little bit this way. I'm feeling a, a bit happier about this now. Not much happier, but, but a bit happier. Seven damage, that's going to start it hatching. Uh, you know what, you're actually done, so end your turn. Uh, you may as well be done, but we'll move you in a moment. You're done. You don't have any willpower left, but we might be able to get like a plink plink shot from you. So step forwards. That's not bad. Let's move it down just a little bit, try and get as much as possible in the window. There we go. And round a bit further. Over here, all you really did was... Uh... Now I'm going to keep you where you are because you need to heal up. Around the back, though, uh, we can step into here and go on Overwatch. Unsurprisingly, he's... Uh, he didn't actually come as far forwards as I expected. All right, well... It's got more reinforcements coming in. I suspect there's going to be a limit to how many of them will appear across the entire map. But it does mean that we've got two to deal with. And these are not great angles to be attacking from. First gun is out of ammo. Change to the shotgun. Yeah, that is, that is not ideal. I mean, we can we can edge our way in. That is definitely something we could do. And I want to bring everyone further up, come to think of it. Let's just make sure he doesn't have a grenade. No, he's got a shield. A shield and a stab. This guy can't really see very well, but it looks like a shield as well. But we can use our grenades on on him. So let's come around to here. We'll throw a grenade in and then we can back up. Grenade on both of them. Broke his arm. Broke his arm and his torso. And uh, then you know what? You can back up. Uh, now can you see? You can sort of see... Just not, not anything worth a damn. How about, right, you can now. So that's going to be a worthwhile shot. Bring it across a little bit. Right on the head. Broke his head. Uh, not really worth us going on Overwatch or doing Gunslinger or anything. Um, but stuff has cleared out enough for us to potentially do a little ding over there. So let's step in just here. 
I know I said we're gonna get him healed up. We can still do that, but he wants his revenge, god damn it. There we go. Two extra willpower. Bring our engineer around. Get that final bit of medicking done. Good as new, mate. Good as new. I mean, his chest is still injured, of course, but it's better than nothing. He's probably going to bleed out. We should save the ammo. So we'll come down here. Change to a bigger gun. Right, let's let's go one space further. So I'm just trying to keep people pretty close to each other, so we don't get massively surprised by stuff. Right, I think that'll do for this turn. So our friend in the corner bled out, unsurprisingly. Question is, what else do these tunnels have to show us? Oh, well, can definitely hear more things. Uh, I want to move you down here just to make sure there's nothing hiding in that co like this guy. I really want to shoot his arm off. It's not massively likely. I always feel like it's worth trying those things, but inevitably it's probably not. level of accuracy can we get? Oh, we can try with this. There we go. He's bleeding. He doesn't have an arm anymore. We can ignore him. Uh, you can't come back though, but everyone else can just be like, yep, yeah, whatever. So easing round the corner. Now, uh, this range, we're definitely not going to miss. Alright. We have another egg round there. Uh, let's pull all the way up, actually. I think it's time for us to just generally bring everyone along this way. The guy that we've left in the back, we can just ignore. He doesn't have any offensive capabilities left. You almost feel sorry for him. Alright, that'll do for this turn. Oh, he does have a friend though. Oh, that's... <laughs> He's hiding in a corner to bleed out. So they get a little bit of movement when they appear, but not a lot. If we walk right up, um, we'll probably be close enough to be attacked if anyone else spawns in. But we can get to a position where we can actually shoot his weapon off or something. And you, you're, you're just asking to be murdered. I wonder what other movement's going on. It's not letting me rotate the view or really uh, move further at all. I 
unless this guy's got stuck somehow. Let's see if I can spin it around. It is responding a tiny bit. He's doing like the funky chicken, isn't he? No, it's definitely not happy with that. Okay, everyone. Um, hopefully, uh, we'll be able to carry on. I'm going to stop the video here just for a moment. And if I can't figure out how to get it back, um, then I'll come back in with a bit of an outro. So I'll be right back. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, unfortunately, I've tried everything I can think of for this. I've tried every key combination, uh, everything except for closing the game completely. Uh, unfortunately, it's uh, not going to return control. And I think it's uh, gone and got itself stuck in a loop. Uh, this, this is, of course, one of the problems of trying something out before it is completed. And this is a pre-release of the game. Uh, there's still a lot of bug fixes to come, a lot of development to go on. A uh, bit of a shame it's being cut a little bit short. Um, but don't fear, we are going to reattempt the uh, the base invasion. Um, but that will unfortunately have to be next time because we are out of time for this session. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed it. Please don't be disheartened by this. Uh, it is just part and parcel of the development cycle. There will always be problems when games are in pre-release. Uh, if you are enjoying these videos, though, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so. And you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon.